Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Silver 1999. In the last episode I left you on a cliffhanger. I'm terribly sorry once again about that, but it's going to make sense. Now, on this episode, we want to heal David. I know, yet again, just David. But, it will make so much sense when we're done. And you'll see why I'm healing David. And why David has to take this fight take on this fight alone. Everyone? You know who that is. We've been waiting for this opportunity. Congratulations. You've proved quite annoying for third generation dregs. But now you're becoming tiresome. Then I'll ease your torment and end it quickly. <laughs> I'd like to say it's been gratifying killing off your entire bloodline, but you were all just too pathetic. Entire bloodline? <laughs> Surely no one's that ignorant. Didn't your grandfather tell you what happened to your father? He was killed trying to stop bandits terrorizing our land. An engaging but tragically flawed account. You see, there was only one bandit. Me. Your grandfather was obviously too ashamed to tell you the truth. No. He was trying to protect me. He died protecting me. Well, don't worry. You can ask him yourself soon enough. So Fuge killed our father. He killed everyone. Now, Fuge. Actual, actual boss fight. He will teleport, he will have lightning, and he has his massive swords, which are absolutely amazing. Now, in order to fight him, I actually am going to go all in with this. Strength Potion. Because he's not going to attack me until I have the first move. Enchanted Armor. And Summon Golem 2. Let's go. Let's fight this guy. Because while we have the Enchanted Armor... Oh, that's his special attack. Oh my god. God, that deals a, little, a lot of damage, and my golem died already, so that was useless. Oh my god, I don't, I didn't remember this fight being so, so difficult. Okay, I still have enchanted armor, so I'm still taking not a lot of damage from the, uh, just the, uh, the regular attacks, but I need to be careful with my life. Um, against huge, I can try and use one of the orbs. I can use the the lightning orb, but it doesn't do anything. I'm afraid I need to heal already. Jesus. Okay, okay, okay. Stop trying to show off stuff. Get yourself some falcon and attack him. That's good. That deals a lot of damage. That deals extra damage, I think. Run away. Eat something. Run away, run away, run away. This is literally... Uh, a hack and slash fight, but it's the biggest fight you've had, so you need to be very careful. They give you Khan's shield, and if you save it for here, this is a good time to use it. Because it's unique, it's uh, the only shield in the game of this kind, but it was basically specifically given to you to, to use in this fight. Uh, there we go. Oh god, you're still in. Okay, you're finally in orange, but there's still a lot of fighting to go through. Again, no special requirements, but this fight is very, very interesting. I can do something, I can do something, I can do something. Let's heal, let's heal. Thank you, because that dealt a lot of damage. Run away! God, I'm being very careless with this fight. Fucking hell. What was the point of healing then? Uh, just, just, okay. There we go, there we go. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Run away. Oh, you gotta eat something. It just deals a lot of damage really quickly. Okay, Hurricane's back. Hurricane's back. Let's use it. Yeah! That's good, that's good, that's good. Run away. I could use different ones. I could use Scythe. Yeah, 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 he's almost dead, he's almost dead. Good, 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 good. Uh, let's use Cleaver. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Reaper? No, he ran away from Reaper. And now he's invisible. Uh, I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna be invisible for a second. Because I need to eat. While I'm invisible, it cannot really attack me. Uh, I'm gonna use invisibility to eat. And... Change it to the Falcon. And probably give him the killing blow now. Hoorah! Yes! 
Level up! Oh, what happened? I finally understood my grandfather's sacrifice. And I ended the fight Fuge started when he killed my father. Come on, Fuge may be dead, but Silver is still very much alive. And this is the heritage we get. We get the swords that were designed for David. These are the last swords we get. Uh, now this means that Vivienne will have the Bastard Sword, which is also the unique uh, sword that exists. And I'll keep Jug with his current mace, but we finally did it. And I didn't even use the shield because I was an umpty and I was panicking a lot. Now, David, with these swords, will deal massive Your amounts of damage. Let's absolutely save the game. Grab the food that's over there. Actually, let's grab the items that are over here. Thank you. Ah, it's just more health potions, because he was expecting me to use potions, more potions, while I was here. I could have used potions, but I knew I was going to mess up the menu, so I decided to just go for, you know, panicky healing. Oh, I'm so happy that we did it in one try, without me having to uh, redo the whole thing. Quite happy with that. Ooh, I remember this room. Doom Doom, this is now our fight. We can now deal a load of damage with fuse swords now if you see uh, artwork for this game and I don't know if I'll be able to splice it but if you see artwork for this game you'll see that um, David has the two swords from the beginning so you do know you will eventually get them in the game there's no actual spoiler about it but I didn't mention it on purpose so that you know I would keep the magic of the game a little bit further that was cool that was actually cool. I want to show you how much damage we we now do with the um, with the Falcon. So you now understand why I uh, stopped the episode so soon, the last episode so soon is because I wanted to show you this fight in all its glory and still be able to potentially finish off the dungeon, even though there's still a bit to go. Oh God! So happy that I was able to do it first try, because sometimes I do mess up the menus quite a lot, and I haven't died yet. That's actually good. Oh, we have to fight again. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, mate, it's so good, because you now deal double damage, and you attack, like, a wider part of the screen with both swords, so you have more chances of hitting your enemies. These swords are just amazing, and they will be our swords until the end of the game, basically. There's no other swords that we're going to get. There's no other weapons, melee weapons, that we're going to get. So this is basically it. Oh, oh, sorry, pressed the wrong button there. Ah... There you go. Let's deal damage. Oh, that was brilliant. That was so good. And he was the warden who just killed. We just killed. But we have something else to do here. We mustn't forget. We want to go through this door before we... Oh, after we, we've done with the bats. We want to go through this door before we move out and move on. Uh, yeah, that's fine, Vivienne. Thank you. Why did I give you the cleaver? I don't even remember giving you the cleaver. I remember giving David the cleaver. Are you gonna jump down? Ah, oh, thank you, mate. I can just kill you. Thank you. Oh, I love these swords. Oh my god. I love this game so much, even though I don't particularly like this dungeon. Oh, here we have someone interesting. That's why we want to come over here. We want to talk to you. Allowed to talk to strangers. You'll get me in trouble. Please, you have to go now. But we've come to help you. Why? Did my mother send you? She used to sing to me, you know. I miss her a lot. Life is but a dream. You don't belong here. Do you even know how old you are? Of course I know. I, I just can't remember. But I was ten once. My mum even made me a cake. 
I remember it. It was blue like the sea. Mm. So this guy is talking a lot about his mum. I wonder if he knows what this is. I used to have a teddy bear just like this. Yes, exactly like it. It is yours. Mine? My mother did send you. Mummy! Mummy! Be careful! So this is little Jimmy. This is little... Oh god, this part of the story is so cute. I love it. Now we need to go and see him after we're done with this dungeon because we are going to get an item out of all this situation, out of all of this thing. But first, let's just get the Duke out. I think we can get the Duke out and then go and see Jimmy's mum. We still have enough time to do that, I'm sure. There's no quicker way to get to it, is there? Uh, prison barracks, yeah. Chains is just um, where we fought Fuge. So here, this is literally Chains. This is where you get to if you, um, you teleport to Chains. So might as well just walk. It's not that far. Oh, really happy we're already at this part of the game because now we have uh, two more places to explore and a couple more things to unlock that we haven't gotten the keys for yet but we will in a bit and when we do explore and get them um, you're gonna see some interesting things that we are missing so we all we have all the swords we don't have all the special attacks. We don't have all the orbs, obviously. We don't have all the shields that are available to us, but we're gonna have them quite soon. Oh no, there's two, two, uh, three more uh, areas we have to explore. I wasn't counting the last area. Did but basically, we're not far. We now have the key, and we're gonna get the Duke out and everyone who's still alive out. Hey. We thought you were dead. You should get back to the camp. Richard is heartbroken. He thinks he's lost you. Yes, but David, you and I have more urgent matters to address. Fuge's ambush was no chance encounter. You needn't concern yourself further with Fuge. He's dead. Do you think we have a traitor? Not necessarily. Glass, Silva's daughter, is a sorceress. She has a seeing ball. It's likely that she's observed our plans and reported back to her father. Then she could be watching us now. Come on, we have to act quickly. Right, let's act Wait, quickly. Did you see William when you were looking for the warden? He's in one of the other cells. No, we saw him in the tavern in rain. Good, I'd feared the worst. I'd seen him being taken for his hearing with Fuge. The others in his group never returned. Maybe there's hope for them, too. Maybe. Come on, Glass will be expecting us, and I don't want to disappoint her. Aha, so now we have a cutscene. Even more cutscenes. Oh, we're literally meeting glass. Okay. This is interesting. I've been expecting you. Then you know why we're here. We know you've been watching us, spying for your father. You underestimate me. But you're right, I have seen many things. And I could have stopped you at any time. I chose to leave you be. And why would you do that? Like you, I hate my father. You'd say anything. What? To appease you? Don't flatter yourselves. You couldn't kill me. Then tell us why you hate him. He killed my mother. If you want your traitor, go to Deadgate. There you'll find the tormented souls of all the murdered rebels. They're forced to wait in limbo until their deaths have been avenged. They'll name their betrayer. David, go to Verdante Harbor and book passage on a ship to Deadgate. I'm going back to Haven to see what is left of my men. You believe her? Yes, yes I do. Yes, yes I do. So I love the Duke. Why can't you just tell us who betrayed us? I cannot ask to see that which is unnamed. I really like Glass, and the fact that she just gave us some hints to help is really, really cool. And she has motivations for it. Dr. Bozuki, 
Kaneki, who is insistent that you should join him at the Temple of the Oracle as soon as possible. Right, so we have a lot to do in the next episode. But we are indeed going to finish off this episode here. This was a massive episode. Fuge is dead. And now we have his swords and we have more things to do. And we have to see Jimmy's mom. And oh god, so many things to do. So, without further ado, I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching once again this Let's Play of Silver 1999. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.